You want this, don't you? <laughs> Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So this is, <laughs> I mean this is the, uh, it's got to be my favourite lightsaber of all time because I love Return of the Jedi and I grew up with Luke Skywalker. Um, and also because when Return of the Jedi came out back in 1983, for my birthday, my nan bought me, um, and I think she bought it in the local toy shop um, in, in, on, on Green Street in, um, in Enfield, just off Hartford Road. But she bought, she knew I wanted a lightsaber and she bought me the, um, it was a green bladed lightsaber with the um, orange hilt. So I don't, I, I remember it had a little sticker on with like made of force be with you or something like that. And I have seen them on eBay. You don't see them very often. It had like an orange hilt with a white button so you could turn it off and on. And um, yeah, I mean, it blew, it blew me away when she bought, when she bought that for me. Um, yeah, that, I'm pretty certain it was an official Star Wars merchandise. But that was my birthday. And then, and then my wife goes and buys me the uh, Black Series Force Effects um, Luke Skywalker lightsaber. I mean, I, I, honestly, I couldn't believe it. When, when I opened it, I couldn't believe it. I mean, she never buys me toys. She, <laughs> she always refuses. And then she goes and gets me this. And these aren't cheap. These aren't cheap. And they only came out this year. But I, I so much enjoyed the uh, the legacy lightsaber. I mean, look, let's have a look at let's have a look at how big the box is. But I so much enjoyed the legacy lightsaber. Oh, sorry, the Skywalker legacy lightsaber, the, the Darth Vader one, which were made by um, Shop Disney, but also um, the Ray Skywalker uh, Black Series lightsaber with, with the yellow blade. I just think they're all fantastic. So to get this, I mean, I did, it was definitely on my list. And I suppose I did drop a few hints <laughs> on my YouTube videos, but I never thought I was going to get this. No way at all. So, uh, yeah, I think, it, I, I think it's time to, to get this bad boy <laughs> open. Right, so it's got loads of sellotape on it. So let's, uh, let's make a start. It's very well packed. Right, so this is what we're dealing with. The, I, I, I love the uh, I love the look of the uh, the actual box. Um, I, I like it far more than the um, the Disney Legacy uh, uh, lightsabers, but the um, but the inside of the Disney boxes is better. I like the I like the big cardboard. Um, it's almost like a I don't know like a chest where you keep your uh, your lightsaber. So I prefer that than this. But the thing is, I'm ne I'm never going to put my uh, lightsabers back in the box. I will hold on to the boxes, but. I suppose if I get desperate and I've got to sell them, I suppose I would. But um, yeah, so it's, I suppose, I don't know, it's, it's just a nice touch what Disney do. But yeah, the, the actual um, exterior of the box is far nicer than the, uh, than the Disney one. So um, yeah, let me, let me get all the bits out. So, so that's the stand, uh, which again is far nicer than the... Um, than the uh, Disney ones, which is just kind of plasticky. That's the extra hilt part. Actually, I'm gonna leave the stand in there because I'm not gonna use the stand because I plan to put um, all my lightsabers on the wall. I just wanna see if my son's one looks any good. What else have we, so this, here's the lightsaber here. Let's just get that out. And then, We've also got the um, instructions there. 
But who reads instructions? <laughs> Not me. And just the blade. So I just need to cut the blade out. So let me get all these bits out and then uh, we'll see what we've got. And here it is outside the uh, packaging and it, honestly when, <laughs> when I was taking it out it, it just blew me away because I, um, I saw a screen used uh, Luke Return of the Jedi lightsaber a couple of, well a few weeks ago when I was at the um, film and sci-fi museum in Milton Keynes. A lot, um, it was a lot thinner than this one so it might have been like a stunt one or something. But this, I mean, look at the detail on it. It's, it's a nice weight to it, um, but obviously it hasn't got any batteries. So you do get batteries with the, um, the Shop Disney Legacy ones. But it's usually cheap batteries, and I, I always change them for Duracell anyway. So uh, that's, that's not a big deal. But look, look at all the detail. It just looks like it does in the movie. And... Um, I love it. It's got the it's got the little uh, belt clip on there. I'd I'd love it. I I love it. It's kind of like a stainless steel type uh, type look. It's very similar to the Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber, which um, which apparently the Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber was used as well. Well, they used it to make Luke's. I think I've read it at the museum. They used it to make Luke's lightsaber in um, Return of the Jedi. So it was the same saber. I know there was other versions of it, but it was the it was the Obi Wan Kenobi one from uh, A New Hope. But uh, honestly, I'm blown away by this. I'm I'm blown away. The, this, the weird thing about these lightsabers is similar to. I mean, um, I, I have this kind of nostalgia. I don't know, um, kind of buzz. When I, you know, if I buy retro collection figures or, or old vintage toys, I also have that kind of nostalgic buzz when I visit like a movie location. You know, it's got to be a movie that I love. And also, um, I get the same buzz out of these lightsabers. I don't know why. I don't get the same buzz if I buy like a Black Series figure or a vintage collection figure. They're great. They're brilliant. They're beautiful. But I don't know. It's... I know it's it's ridiculous, but it's like just holding this. You almost feel part of the movie. Just like when I was at the uh, the museum, seeing all the uh, screen used props, and 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 going to like a movie location. So uh, yeah, I'm 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 impressed by this so far. It is impressive, <laughs> most, most impressive. So um, I'm gonna. I mean, before I put the batteries in, I mean this is this is my shop Disney. Uh, lightsaber, well Luke Skywalker or, or Skywalker lightsaber so yeah the Return of the Jedi is a little bit um, slight, slightly taller but yeah the stainless steel is a bit more shiny on the um, on the legacy Disney one and I know that the um, because the because the Luke one is very similar to the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber I know that the, because um, I, I see, uh, one, one good thing about Mankind is that they have the lightsabers on display in a cabinet. And I've seen that the, um, I mean, the Obi-Wan Kenobi one looks beautiful, but it's more kind of chromy than stainless steel, like this one. But, oh, these, these, are, these are great. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I love them. And I can't believe my wife bought, <laughs> bought me another one. Look at that. So I'm going to, um, I mean, this is really heavy because it's got batteries in it. But I'm going to put batteries inside uh, my new Return of the Jedi one. This is the uh, this is the extra part. So so the, the the fin part on the hill. That's you know I mean you know this already. This is for display purposes, and it's very similar to the um, the Disney one. But when you have the hilt in it, you have to put the uh, the other the other piece, which is thicker. But it does, it does really look good. I love the gold on there. That's a really nice, uh, nice gold that they've used. So let's do the, um, let's do the batteries first. So, so you just unscrew here. So obviously I've done, I've done this before when I did the uh, Ray Skywalker Legacy lightsaber. But those batteries, they just fitted straight in. Whereas this one, you've actually got to unscrew the compartment 
So put the batteries in there. And <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> and the instructions are still in the box. And I couldn't, <laughs> I, couldn't find, I couldn't find anything on YouTube about how you put the batteries in these new lightsabers. I even checked my old Ray Skywalker lightsaber video, which was the first YouTube video I ever did. And uh, it's a different, um, it's different fitting. You just, you just stick the batteries in. But after checking, <laughs> after checking the internet, because uh, <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered getting, reopening the box and getting the uh, instructions out. There's a little screw just on there, and you just loosen it with your screw, with your your Phillips screwdriver. Just loosen that. And then that slides, being careful not to lose your screw. And then you stick your, uh, have I got the right, oh, sure I've got the right ones. You stick your Duracell in there. Always use Duracell. So it takes three in total. So now that's all charged up, ready to go. So that now goes in the hilt, or the bottom of the hilt. And there's only, there's only one way it can go in. So I think that's, I think that's in there. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot to put the other bit on. So it's a good job I <laughs> realised. So that's got to go back over there. And then you've got to um, screw that on. Then this goes back in there. Because I just, it's just like a, it just plugs in. So, screw that on. Let's see if we get a noise. No. Well, I'm not getting anything. I'm sure my, um... oh, there you go. <laughs> Note to self, read the instructions. <laughs> I just never do. So that shows it is working. So that's the on button. So I assumed it was there. Right, so then this bit comes off here. Oh, that's a big chunky bit that is. And that's where the uh, blade goes in. So just, get, just get the blade. <laughs> this is, oh, I'm such a loser, but <laughs> this is so exciting. So, right, so that, it actually, that, right, <laughs> it's actually got um, Luke Skywalker written on the side there. And I thought that's handy because I've got my, uh, my Disney Legacy lightsaber blade on the table as well. But these are they these are both uh, Luke Skywalker, but I'm sure this is the right one. So Right, so I think I've done that right. And then if it's like Ray Skywalker's lightsaber. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's, I think that's wrong. <laughs> Does that? Yeah, so that, so, so that the, uh, the extra part just kind of slides on the end. So that's the same as Ray Skywalker. That slides over the lightsaber and then just, you just uh, twist that on. And then, 
that should, in theory, that should work. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, I've got to tighten that up a bit as well. Oh, so this button is... So the button here is to make the uh, effects, which you can't really see that well because it's not really dark enough. But that's, that's one of the things that I missed on the, um, compared to the uh, Ray Skywalker, that's one of the things that I missed on the uh, Disney Legacy lightsabers. There weren't really any extras. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this when it's a bit darker outside. And then we're, we're going to see how good this lightsaber is. But honestly, I am a sucker for nostalgia. I'm getting vibes of Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker, the Emperor, Darth Vader, but also my nan as well, who bought me my original first lightsaber back in the 80s with the Orange Hill. So, um, so I will come back to this when it's a bit darker and then we can, <laughs> we can have a proper look and maybe, <laughs> and maybe have a play in the garden like I did with, uh, with my uh, legacy Luke Skywalker lightsaber. So uh, I'll, see, I'll see you in a bit. So I left it a few hours. It's now pitch black. <laughs> uh, and I've got, I've got all my uh, Skywalker lightsabers out. I haven't got, I didn't, I didn't get Rays out because, um, which is not really a proper Skywalker. <laughs> but, but no, they, you know, the, the classic, I thought I'd get my classic lightsabers. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, just to see what they look like in the dark. Um, I, I really, I really do like, I really do like this Luke. Um, Black Series lightsaber. I, I love it, but one of one of, I've had a, I've had a little bit of a mess about with it while I was waiting for it to get dark. And one of the things I don't like about it is the uh, is this bit here. You know, on the on the end of the uh, the hilt. I mean, Luke had this, didn't he? To um, that was to kind of hang it on his belt. But it's so irritating. Whereas um, on um, on Luke's or Anakin's original lightsaber, you do have you've got the little clip there on the end of the uh, the hilt, but it's nice and tight. So if you want to put it under there, it just stays there; it doesn't move at all. So yeah, that's a bit irritating. And the other the other thing is my um, I my first lightsaber, my first ever YouTube video. Ray Skywalker's yellow lightsaber. I absolutely love it. I've mentioned it before. I planned to buy buy the uh, Disney Legacy Ray Light Ray Skywalker lightsaber when I was going to go to um, when I, well the plan was to go to California in 2020. Never happened. Didn't even get off the ground because of what happened. But um, because I couldn't get there, that's when I bought the um, Ray Skywalker in the Black series. No, no, um, no regrets. Love it. It's a fantastic lightsaber. Um, I like, I like the weight of Ray Skywalker's lightsaber. I also like the weight. I mean, obviously it's got batteries in, but I like the weight of the um, the Disney Anakin and Vader lightsabers as well. I just love the weight of them. Whereas Luke's Luke's um, Return of the Jedi Black series, it's very light now. People might prefer that, you know, if you're doing lightsaber tricks, because I'm still trying to <laughs> learn the moves. So maybe that's the reason why it is light. Maybe being light is a good thing. But I like it heavy. <laughs> so I'm a bit disappointed by that. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a great lightsaber. But I, if I'm honest, I think the lightsaber... My favourite lightsaber is my Ray Skywalker. That's my number one, <laughs> which isn't going to be a popular choice. But I think the second, my second favourite lightsaber, I've got to say, is my Luke or um, Anakin Skywalker from uh, from the yeah from the prequels and the uh, original trilogy. 
I think <laughs> I think it's my favourite. It's just I didn't think I was going to say that. I I don't know. Although I say that, I think the features on the Black Series are better. So I'm going to turn it on now because it's dark. So you can you can see it a bit better. I'm, I'm going to turn the lights off. But what I like about and it's the same with Ray Skywalker. I like this button here where you can press it. You don't get that feature on the um, on the Disney one. You don't get that feature, but you you can like whack it around and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really happy. I'm really happy with them. I don't know. I, I think. I don't know. Let's, let's turn the light. Let's turn the lights off and we'll get a better look at them. Right, so let's have a look at them in the dark. So this is Luke. Look at that. It is beautiful. And this is the feature I was talking about. Is that you can you can press the button. It's a bit it's, I think the I think the black series is a little bit more I don't know, interactive, it's I don't know, it just it just seems to react better. So yeah, definitely, definitely 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Look, look, I just wish it was heavier. Whereas, my Luke, or, or my Anakin, or whatever you'd call it. What is this? This is, I can't even, is this the... Oh, this is the, yeah, this is the Legacy lightsaber. The Disney Legacy. Uh, I don't know, I just... It's got a nice noise to it. I don't know. I just like the weight of it, I just think it's... But then Vader's has got a lovely weight to it as well. And they've all got different noises, which is really good. And they, they, they also turn on differently as well. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, I do like the sound of the Luke one. Well, what what I can say is <laughs> that, that this is all about the uh, Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Ten out of ten. Um, I love it. I love it. I think it's great. I wish it was a. <laughs> I wish it was a little bit heavier. But that's, that's me only criticism, really. Highly, highly recommended. My, I, mean, I, asked, I didn't ask my wife how much it was, because I know it was expensive, but she got it from the range. So the range do have a lot of Star Wars stuff. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, but yeah, I, I'd have to say, out of, out of the four lightsabers, let's not forget my son, I bought the Darth Vader for my son, but out of the four lightsabers, I would say my favorite is Rey Skywalker's, followed by the Disney Legacy, and um, and then Luke's Return of the Jedi. Um, but very, I'm, the Black Series is great. But I, but I realise now how how impressed I am by the Disney ones, and they're a lot cheaper than the Black Series. But anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> ten out of ten. I'm gonna finish off, have a little play in the garden. Um, but yeah, I mean that's uh, <laughs> that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care, uh, and it really helps the channel. And again, I'd like to thank my wife for a, a fantastic um, birthday present. A great surprise. Absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a mess about in the garden, and I'll see you in the next one. No, I don't want to do a video. Swerve it. In the video. All right. You want this, don't you? <laughs> <laughs>